All right, so I finally installed my inverter. There's my placards. I still have to put some uh, numbers for the for that label, but um, yeah, here it comes to the wall. I put this little one inch piece on there. I kind of make it look somewhat nicer. There's my ground, my first grinding rod, and there's my second one. I actually wanted a continuous one all the way from the roof. Hit that grinding rod, come back up, and then hit that grinding rod, but I the, my wire stopped like right here. So not really a big deal. I just spliced it inside there, but it's not totally continuous. It is continuous to that grinding rod, which is a requirement. But um, yeah, so then I bent all this conduit. It's one inch conduit. This guy right here, he gave me a bit of a trouble. I did, it took three times. Uh, there's all my scrap pieces. As you can see, that 90 on the left kinked on me, and the other ones were either too short or too long, and didn't quite work out. But there's my AC disconnect, and uh, it's not really required. It wasn't part of the plans, but I thought it better be safe than sorry. Just put it on there. And then there's my second grounding rod, and then there's my panel. Here's my uh, placards, or my main placard. Uh, the only thing is uh you can't use the sticky you got to rivet it on so that's what i did and uh yeah that's my inverter install